To create a digital terrain from a survey data file, please open your tool space and go to the Prospector tab. Here, right-click to the point Surfaces and say Create Surface. Please always use the type Tin Surface. If you don't want to use the auto naming function, you can here enter a new name for your surface. We call it Demo Surface. Afterwards, press OK. Now we can open the structure tree in front of surfaces until the point point files appears as a subpoint of definition. Right click to the point point files and say add. Now you can select a point file format from the list or create a new one by using this button. If you move down with your mouse, the new button appears. Use it and select user point file as point file format. Afterwards press OK. In this dialog we can give a name to our new format. We call it Demo Format. Please affirm that the file extension equals the format of your file. If your import file contains a comment tag, please enter it here. Using the Load button, you can select an example file with the corresponding format. Of course, you can also use the original file. As you can see, the file data appears in the preview list. There are two format options available. Using the columnated option, you can read data by dragging the columns into position, like that. In this case, it seems to be easier to use the exclamation point as a delimiter for the option delimited by. As you can see in the preview list, the columns are displayed correctly. You now have to connect each column of interest to its meaning by renaming it. You can do that by left-clicking the title of a column and selecting a name from the list. In our case, the X values for each point are in column number 6. The seventh column contains the Y values and the Z values are in column number 9. Now we left click the head of the sixth column and name it Easting. The Y values have to be named Northing and column number 9 for the Z values get the name Point Elevation. The Parse button finally shows the data which are read with the current settings. Please control the correctness carefully. If the result of the preview list is correct, please close the dialog by clicking OK, select the new format and close this dialog too. Now we can add the survey data file for import by using the plus button. To start the import, we confirm by pressing OK. Our file contains some invalid points without that value, but this isn't necessarily a problem. We close this dialog and we can now see that some data have been imported. We now move to the structure list of the placement tab in Helios palette and right click it and select the option Refresh. As you can see, the demo surface appears in our list. By double-clicking the terrain's name, the drawing frame zooms in, so that the terrain fills the current view. The terrain is ready for use now.